All right, we're out bass fishing this morning with Jack. He's celebrating his 75th birthday here next week, so his son got him a charter. He's already got one nice bass in the boat. We'll see if we can get another one. Fishing has been a little bit slow lately because the water temperature is heated up to the point where the spawn is done. And now the bass are moving around finding their summer location, so it's becoming a little bit more difficult to find these fish. But I think we're in the right location. Oh, well, he's got an empty hook, so uh, something must have taken it. Like a nice small mouth. It's trying to scare him away with a net. <laughs> One more time, okay. Just reach down and lip him. Oh, there you go. Holy Christmas trees. You got it, Jack. There you go. All right. Um, this is a this is a decent fish. We're sitting here looking at him. It took us about a minute, and he finally took the bait. So it's a crayfish. A nice, nice bass right there. Yep. Thought I saw another one following him from behind too. All right. It'll be a while before he comes in. Dude. No, that was something he ate. Oh, he yeah, spit that, that up. He <laughs> that was something he ate. All right, the redemption netting. <laughs> there, that's a pretty decent bass, huh? Yeah, I called the four pounder looking at it in the water. Now I'll see how close that was. Looks like it's a little bit lighter than that, I don't know. We'll see when you measure it and check it out. It measures out at 17 inches. Alright, so it should be three something probably, right? Yeah, definitely. Take this in here. Yep. Six ounces. Seven. Three seven. Three seven. Nice. All right. So let's get your picture now. All right. I've had a great day so far fishing. I actually had uh, five fish. Two of them actually got off. They were jumping fish and ended up getting themselves off the hook. And we got three in the boat, so we're making uh, one or two more passes here. We're going to see if whether we can get another one in the boat or not. So Jack can get his limit. Earlier today we saw two muskies also, and we might stop back real quick to where those were just to see if we can hook into one of those. Alright folks, I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's a bass down here at the bottom and he's half black and half white. You can only see his tail is black, the rest of him is white. I've never seen a fish like that before. He's right directly under the boat. We're still looking right at him. We've got a minnow on and Ed's going to drop the minnow down near him here. Now he's gone under the boat. If we get him on, I'll turn the camera back on. 